Hello, my name is Jamie Scherer, a Manufacturing Technical Specialist with Autodesk. This is part one of a video series about simplifying the Inventor Content Center. This video covers how to configure the Content Center and create a custom library. There are two different ways to deploy the Inventor Content Center. The first and simpler deployment is the Desktop Content option. Desktop Content is the local deployment of the Content Center and installs with Inventor, Inventor Pro, and the Design Suites. Desktop content can be installed locally or on a shared network location where all the users can access the same shared libraries. The other option is to install the ADMS content. The ADMS content is the Inventor Content Center deployment that is managed by the Autodesk Data Management Server Console and accessed through the vault. An ADMS deployment gives a user group access to the Inventor Content Centers with the benefits of security, scheduled backups, bill of materials, and where used functionality that vault offers. This is the ideal environment for a multi-user or multi-site deployment. Now let's jump over into Inventor to take a look at the different options we have for configuring the Content Center. First, inside of the Application Options, underneath the File tab, is the default Content Center file location. Also, underneath the Content Center tab, is the ability to switch between Inventor Desktop content and Autodesk Vault Server content. The Autodesk Inventor Content Center libraries are managed through the project file location. Inside of this location, you have the ability to turn on and turn off, configure the different standards and content center libraries that are needed for your project. In the bottom right hand corner of the project dialog box is the configure libraries button. Inside of here, you have the ability to turn on and turn off standards or content that you no longer need. This is also the location where you would go ahead and create a custom library inside of Inventor. Creating a custom library is the first step you need to take when you're looking to publish your own custom content or edit any of the existing Inventor content. Now that I've gone ahead and created a custom library inside of my desktop content deployment, let's take a look at how we would create a custom library inside of the Autodesk Data Management Server Console. Creating a custom library inside of Vault is just as easy. As an administrator, I just need to log into our server and right click on the libraries folder inside of the Vault. You see I have the ability to create a custom library and name it whatever is appropriate. For example sake, we'll get to name this folder Acme Custom Library and say OK. With a custom library in place, I now have the ability to publish my own content or edit any of the existing Inventor Content Center content. 